got to look, it's ideal. It's out, but it's in. That's what I love. It's just, it's just perfect. I'm not in anyone's way. They're coming and going. You know what I mean? It sounds great. I can play in any kind of weather. I mean, I just clocked it. I just saw it and I thought, and I was living in that you know, hostel over there. It was right around the corner. It was ideal. Perfect. I can play in the rain. I can play in the snow. And I do. I mean, I didn't miss a single day throughout last winter. It was brutal. And I was here, you know, every single day. Every single day. And the thing was, the busking started out really as just something to get my life back together. I was on my own, split up with the missus, lost everything. I was in a fucking hostel. Right, what am I going to do? I want to see what I'm going to play that fucking guitar, so I took it out. When I started, I could play three songs. I could play Knocking on Heaven's Door, I could play You Can't Always Get What You Want, and one of mine. People say to me, I'll go and play in the West End. Um, you make more money. I don't want to play for a bunch of suits in the West End. I like playing for the people around here. A lot of these kids never even seen a guitar. You'd be amazed. They come up and they go, wow, what's that? You know, I, I wouldn't have missed it for the world because I've learned so much out here. Loads of Beatles ones, loads of Dylan ones, loads of Bob Marley ones, all the obvious ones. Someone comes up and says, can you do this? And the next time they come by, oh, can you do that? And yes, I can, you know. And that's great. You know? I was a resident engineer from the age of 18 through to about 24. I mean, within six months I'd done three albums and I went on to work with so many great people at such a young age. I freelance, I started making good money, I started working with a lot of good people. And when I got the gig with Robert Plant, I wasn't just your boffin type engineer. Like so many engineers today are like computer nerds. You know what I mean? They're not rock and roll. It's part of the reason I don't go back to it because it's just people are just computer programmers now. It's not like it used to be get up to the top table when you're in a fucking bubble and I, I don't know, I fucking went wonky somewhere. I don't know, I got blind to, to a lot of things. I don't know what happened. I just found myself in Cape House. You know, it was like that or the skip. I was in there for 10 fucking years, Mark, as well. 10 fucking years it was. And while you're doing so, man, just pull the triples back a little bit or June up a bit, or my triples back a bit. Because uh, the way the mix is at the moment, it's okay, but we've got to sort the vocals out. We haven't fiddled with the mix since we did my lead vocals on it. No. It's this is the house, this is where I live, I live upstairs. Five, five, five floors yeah, upstairs. Yeah. It's the old police section house, where old Bill used to live here. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, we is, yeah, that. yeah. Everyone, uh, so many people I know, it's the old bridge houses. We're doing like an old school EP, is the idea. Mm. A hard copy CD, which we can sell at gigs and out on the street and stuff. Mm. And, um, How long have you been at the hostel for? About 15 months now. When we go to the fire this is where we go. This is the hostel. Like I say, it's the old bill shop. My room's around the back. The top, but there's all sorts in here, Mark. There's a lot of head cases in here. It's, it's difficult, people have got lots of problems. I mean, hey, I'm in here. So I can't exclude myself from that category, really, but... You know, it's different strokes for different folks. I mean, that's nothing to do with me. I'm in the studio, you know. I go, well, you know me. I'll go out busking. And I come back here at night. I mean, I'm grateful I've got a roof over my head. All the songs are mine, Mark. Except one, which is uh, an old blues from the 1920s called Soul of a Man. Do you know it? Blind Willie Johnson. I don't know, they used to call him Blind This and Blind That and Blind The Other back in the day, so I had these nicknames. I'm not sure in the PC world that that's the cool thing to do. His name is Willie Johnson anyway. He was blind and he was a busker. And he was a preacher as well. I don't know what the levels are on your mic, Mark, or anything, but it'd be nice to crank it up. I haven't had it for a while. Won't somebody tell me what is the song of a man? Joe on harmonica, not this Joe, another Joe. June on backing vocals. Stuart on upright. Me.
So what did he do? He just come up to you and just grab your guitar off you? No, it was three of them. They did the usual. They just sort of hung around and then one of them fucking drop kicked me and the other two scooped the money up and linked it. I think it was all on camera. It was all filmed, you know. Robbed me of a pound eighty, goes straight down in Kentucky, down the end of the road, and sits there eating my pound eighty. And he gets nicked by some plainclothes coppers about ten minutes later. Misses the whole of Christmas, the whole of New Year, his birthday, fifteen months for a pound eighty. Of course, what they want you to do is they want you to do ID parades, they want you to go here, there, and everywhere and help them out, but they don't want to fucking pay you. All I cared about was the fact my guitar was mashed to bits. I needed a new guitar, I needed it, and this was 8 o'clock at night, where the fuck was I going to get one? No chance, next day. So, but they want you to go down to, uh, to the Nick to do this, that and the other. I'm like, no, I've got to sort my guitar out, mate. Clear cut case of them and me. Pound 80. Half of it was foreign in Euros anyway. Please, crank it up. It'll be, it'll be from here to the end, yeah. yeah crank it up. I'll give it a bit of welly, Joe. But you can't decide. Got more than here in me, little book. And these are all the people that helped you along the way? Some of them, yeah. I mean, there's the obvious people who actually work on the record, but then there's all these people who are all silent partners, really. You know, they, they didn't even want to be thanked. So they said, well, what are you thanking me for? And I'm saying to them, well, I couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have survived this out there without them, and it's true. People underestimate their importance, but we've got a little community thing going, and I think it's, you know, I've said to you before, Mark, I think, you know, as far as I'm concerned, everyone down Dawson Lane's in the band, you know. Pierre, Katrina, Sophia, Layla, Nadia, Janaya, Ezra, Julie, Luke, Erica, David, Rono, Jazz, Nicola, Geraldine, Maggie and Terry, Andy O'Neill, Emma, Theo, Ray, Deborah Nixon, Bonnie, Jesse, Kingsley, Araby, Skip, punk from the old days, Joe, Ben, Kate, Tom, Tim, Sean, a couple of footballing brothers around the back of the estate, Shaheem, R.I.P. Billy, Teresa, Ian, Dan, Raph, Rini, Makeda, Maria, Julio, Anne, Kelvin and Trina, Vicky, Leah, Georgia and Faye, Manny and Sharon, Eve, Suat, Massey, Soren and Jem, June Merrill's backing vocals. Loads of them, you know what I mean? Thanks for all your support. These feelings ain't nothing new. You've got a penny on you. This is a busker's technique of um, stringing a guitar. I wish you'd put the clock on me because you can, I'm pretty good at this now. I'll get it down in about a minute when you're out in the street. So. When will I see you again? When will I hold be together Will I have to wait Forever Or will I have to suffer The whole night through And are we in love Nice one guys, cheers Or just good friends Is this my beginning or is this the end? When will I see you again? <laughs> right. <laughs>